I'm one day late, but guess what? I wanted to still make a video on the Counter-Strike update because I feel like a lot of people are missing some of the cool things in it, despite the fact that it is literally just skins. Also, I got a haircut. Don't freak out. You're going to get used to it. But let's check out the new Counter-Strike Armory update, the 100 new items and skins they added to it, and what is cool about this, aside from the disappointing fact that, again, no operation. Uh, I mean, obviously they've been cooking this for a while, and I think the store of Counter-Strike always sucked, okay? I'm not even that stoked on the charms and whatnot, but I think, in general, this is a good change for the overall purchasing of things, and I, and I get why they did it. This is the thing that everybody's been talking about, the heat-treated deagle, the blue gem deagle. What is the first interesting thing about this? Every one of them is unique. They all have paint patterns. I saw this thread that had a blue gem, a purple gem, a gold gem. That looks like piss. Only problem is it's 25 credits, man. That's half of your entire battle pass. But when you think about breaking it down, $8 for a deagle skin that could be really, really dope. I don't know. It's not that bad. These are kind of a miss for me. I don't want these at all. I, I mean, these suck. Full stop, I hate these. They look bad. They're like a Fortnite gun. I look at this, I'm like, that's a Fortnite gun. I, 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 I get it. I understand. And there's more ideas and iterations that can come from these. Some of these are cute. Don't get me wrong. This one's going to be absolutely devious, all right? This one's going to be used in all... The, like, I, come on, look. I, I don't even have to think about it. Like, you're... I mean, this ain't even bad, but like, hey, give her a little earring. Yeah, like, come on. There, people are going to use this in, yep, see, I told you. Yeah, I mean, the sausages are fine. Maybe they'll grow on me in game. These, however, what the hell, man? What is this? Getting into the other skins, these kind of map collections aren't ever that great for me, but they always have some standout ones. My problem is that you're just going to get the ugliest things you've ever seen in your entire life, and then they got like one or two, and you're like, yo. I mean, I think this looks fantastic. This is a pink skin for once that's not the DD Pat that looks I mean, cool. In my opinion, it's unoffensive, and it's probably one of the best skins that they've released for the AWP, which, um, you know, compared to my Graphite, I like this one more. The Dragon Snore, it's cute. You know, put your enemies to sleep. Th this one I don't like um, as much. I don't like the busyness of it, but, you know, I get the monster, graffiti, all that stuff, and I think they did a good job. It's just not my style. Some of these in the overpass collection are just insane like i get it but <laughs> the graphic pack is a huge miss for me i don't like any of these at all the op is okay it, i can't this is literally a gel pen if anybody has this and you don't name it gel pen i'm suing you this is probably one of the better skin cases, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The sport and field, right? So these camo ones are interesting. Like this one's kind of cool. I wish it was more of that like traditional uh, hunter pattern because it's kind of hard, but it, it doesn't have a big canvas to show it off. So it's not that ideal. The rest of the, like, I don't understand, but look, they're blues. Why did they do this on the 5.7 though? This is my real question. Like, they could have done it on any gun. Imagine a heat-treated CZ. But we already have blue gem. This is clean. If anyone used the ump, this would be great. If I had the hot rod, uh, the M4 hot rod, I would totally put this in my loadout or an all-red loadout. I mean, I love clean skins. Great job on this. I've got the black and white allele, but, like, this is borderline too much, okay? Okay. It, 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 at first glance, I'm like, why are we doing this? This is a Valorant skin. But then I realize it's not actually iridescent, right? It's This is the color, and it kind of reflects, uh, you know, whatever. But it's not like this isn't changing to green, yellow, purple. It's just green, and it looks cool. So, so close. I might be the minority. I can't use the skin. There's two disqualifying things. The fade is fantastic. It's got such a long canvas to make the colors shine. I cannot wait to see some crazy fades with this. What the fuck is going on with the handguard? Look at this. So distracting. You're telling me you're going to sit here and look at this beautiful fade and then like 
a third of your screen is not that. I don't mind the accent pieces not being that. I think it would be a little too much. But, like, you couldn't have polished them. Why do they have the default scuff texture compared to, like, how pristine everything else is? And I'm like, ah, you know, why? Or, like, make this an accent cult. Like, I, I mean, I get it. Right? It's probably based on something, and they probably didn't want to look too cartoonish. But motherfucker, it's a rainbow. All right? Counter-Strike 2 and the lighting and the and Source 2 and whatever um, has allowed you to do more with the engine. Lenticular stickers, right? That move when you look around. That is Source 2. And um, also different types of light reflections and texturing. What I love about this skin might be the best base skin I've ever seen. Look at how unique it looks while still maintaining the overall feel and vibe of this gun. Like, it looks borderline zombie mode. Like, it's like, it's, it's so cool. And they did such a good job. It reminds me of the MAC-10 um, heat, heat, heat sink. That's what it is. Why was that so hard to remember? But I like that a lot taking some liberties with the suppressor and adding more textures to things that generally didn't have texture. This hand, like, I really, really like the details on the skin. If anyone used the MP5, this would be hard. The best skin in terms of technicality, in my opinion. Now, I could be super wrong on this, but this, I think, is the first time that we've had such diverse textures on a gun. They put leather on it. And it looks fantastic with this blue, with the brass, that copper, like, you know, whatever. And the texture looks great. I love the way that leather looks. And you're not getting that in Source 1. You're just, you're not. It's it's so good. And it's so good that I want to use this gun. I, I personally hate this. But I appreciate it. And I like the etched handle. Still don't like it. Why? Another really great skin. It's a rail gun, basically. Great texturing, really taking some liberties with how things are, are, are you know, um, made. And I, I think that either Valve was way more open to people playing around with what you could do with this update with skins. Maybe they weren't actually limiting at all what people could do and that we were just limited by, you know, Source 1 and uh and whatnot but like i love the liberties they let people take with this it does look good to me best gun this is the best skin in the entire thing guys fuck yeah are you kidding me the fuck the, the oh man the hydro strike frenzy squirt guns they did a really good job one slight critique that I kind of wish we could have done if we made these like a look a little transparent just kind of like a little bit I don't care I don't care I need these but in in the future in some future imagine these with the Molotov cocktail liquid animation inside y you know the one that they developed for Alex like oh oh rip your frames though Another example, I love the exposed bullet casing, uh, bullet casings, the exposed bullets. And I wonder if this reacts in real time to the bullets that you shoot. I'm not buying it to figure it out, but that would be dope. This is fantastic. I love this. I, I, I want this as well. Again, texturing, grooving. It, it's, it's all stuff that I like and doesn't take away from anything and allows for a lot more creativity on the gun. We don't need more. This is probably my second favorite in the entire thing, and I need this. Are you joking? I, I, I mean, the reflection in the gold tooth. I, I mean, nah. This is the best colors, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so sick. I really do love that they nailed almost all the quintessential vaporwave vibe um, and little, like, tropes. So... I wouldn't hate having this one, but it is just a bit too busy for me. Even more so is like leaning into the stickers. This is something when they allowed you to move stickers around that the first thing I asked for was, well, now we need general stickers. Like not just like a character. We need like things that the guns can have on them that like can alter the way the skin looks or alter the way the stickers that you've already placed look. And this is the first iteration of that. However, with great art comes great responsibility. Valve, 
you know what we're doing here, right? Like, come on. There's no, I, I don't even have like a looty skin, but like, I, it'll, like, come on. Like, you, I mean, it's going to happen. There's no way around it. They know it, but sticker sales go vroom. So, um, I do, I do really want to spend some time playing around with these and I want to see what the community can make, um, with these because to me i love customizing my guns to make them feel more mine but the stickers that we used to have were so bad now guy the it's 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 go time it's so go time all right look at this you get two of these you it's haunting this looks like a junji ito like horror thing like the the spiral woman look at this you just put two of them on there, and every time you're running around, oh my god, it's going to be crazy looking. I really like the stuff that you can do and the creativity that they're opening up to with all of these things. I I, I, I spent like five minutes going through a lot of these and, and pulling out my favorites. So I'm going to show you here. I, I'm actually, for the first time, like... What should I spend my things on? Like, I want to spend them on a sticker. Look, I can get cutie over here. A little bow tie. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. I'm the problem. I'm the problem here. And I'm not afraid to admit it. I, like, I I played every operation. Okay, the first one, the last one, everyone in between. Even if I didn't complete most of them. Because guess what? I remember how boring those challenges were. It wasn't just like play the game like this is. Which is a good step forward. You play whatever you want. You gain experience. And you're good to go. It was like go play 14 rounds of casual with a mag 7. And win with a 3k in one round. And you'll get like a coin. And then the next one would be like, win four games of arms race. You know how awful that is? Like, we're talking like two hours of arms race sometimes because you're just like losing out to the knife every time because everybody's sweating it out. And the more that I thought about it, the more that I'm like, I don't even miss that. I do really wish they would have updated the game and added, I don't know, cash, put train in because that's a thing. What about overpass? Put overpass back. De get Mirage and Dust back out of the game. I don't even care. Just do something. But cash isn't done, and maybe they want to wait for that and all this stuff. So in the spirit of having a little something instead of nothing, I think that if we compartmentalize our pain here and we look just at what we've gained and not what we wanted, there's a lot of really good positives for um, being able to make things your own and have unique skins and enjoy that. If you're not into skins, you fucking hate this update. And I'm not even, I don't even blame you. I don't. No, they're going to have to. When are they going to add scaling? You know what I mean? I need scaling in the stickers so I can make that fit. No, I did. Why did I? No. 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 One here. One here. Oh. Guys, counter strike. Oh my God, I have to get it. It's lore appropriate. Jericho lore appropriate. Don't cuck me. There. Okay. I saw it go by and I got the one thing I hate. It would be really funny though if I got a kukri because I don't want that somehow. Apparently not as funny as getting actually the other skin that I hated from here. So once again, spending $5 on top of the how many uh, $80 that I spent to get this just to not get anything I want. Overall, feels bad, man. I think I might go for some stickers next. Um, as for things like this, I think I just wait to see how it, uh, hits the, the, um, the market and how much it goes for. How much are you going for? No. Oh, because you can't sell them because they're seven day item banned. Oh my God. Wait. So for this next week, if you see anybody with these, they're a king. That's actually kind of sick. Cause in the past you get something and you're like, I got to sell this right now. Now it's like, sit on it. Enjoy it. Be cool. I kind of like that. I got to open up. <laughs> it's fine. Look, the way that I see it, final thoughts. The way that I see this is that you can conceivably buy one of these and get 10 cases for $16, which is cheaper than doing it any other way. 
Um, most people aren't going to do that. Most people are probably going to get some of these and spend additional money. But I overall can not hate on this because I think there's some good things in general changes. And I'd encourage people to also be like, look, the people that did the cosmetics on this are not literally working on the maps or the map pool or any of that. They're all working at deadlock, okay? All of those people are on deadlock. Accept it for now, and we just wait for FMP1 to finish cash because that map looks gorgeous. And I will, at this point, just, I don't care. Just give me the four maps that I care about, and I'll be happy again. Thanks for watching the whole video, even though there was no gameplay. Uh, we actually put out a bunch of new music, one song every single week on my record label, Night Mode. If you have not listened to our music, or if you haven't in a while, go check the link in the description below and check out all of our new music. And uh, I've got my 15 year anniversary coming out, uh, my video for that. It's gonna be two and a half hours long. Sorry.